And over the years, band members Peter Furler, Phil Joel, Michael Tate, Duncan Phillips, Jeff Frankenstein, and Jody Davis have revolved in and out of the group, but tonight, they're all here. I want you to welcome Newsboys United. Welcome. <laughs> you know, I think you brought your fan club with you. Oh, man. You know, first of all, this is kind of a, a wonderful thing. 30 years, different guys have come in and been out of the band and, you know, taken time off. Uh, this is like the family reunion. You're calling it Newsboys United. How did that happen to get everybody back together? Michael, I'll start with you on that. Well, we know, of course, Peter Furler and I, and uh, of course, DC Talk. Back in the day, if you knew DC Talk, you knew the Newsboys. Yeah. And uh, we've been buddies for a long time. Our first tour ever in the country with these guys was DC Talk, Newsboys on the New School Jam back in the, um, <clears throat> a while ago. 1700. <laughs> 1700. <laughs> and, uh, and so we became fast friends. So Pete took a break about 11 years ago. Yeah. Took a break, he produced all the records, wrote a lot of the songs, and uh, just, you just get worn out, you know? And so we were frenemies back in the day. Never thought I'd be the lead singer of this band, you know? Any band besides yeah. Newsboys. <laughs> and so, but I say God works in mysterious ways and mischievous ways, because I ended up being the lead singer, and uh, we're working on a song called The Cross Has the Final Word, and Pete came in and produced part of it, and kind of does what he does best, administrated the song, and he sang on it, and then... No, no big plan for a record label. We just kind of, it just got, what Pete, just kind of happened. After yeah, that. it just happened. So, Peter, you, you were in the beginning of the whole vision for Newsboys when it started in Australia, which a lot of people don't realize that you guys started down under. It started in his parents' garage. True story. No kidding. A Bandit. true garage band. We were a garage band. Our neighbors hated us. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they don't hate you now. <laughs> I bet they don't. They don't. officially apologize to our neighbors. Yeah, that's right. When I was a teenager in the, unfortunately, 60s and 70s, it was Christian contemporary, Christian rock music that kept me interested yeah. in, it really in the Word of God and kept yeah. me interested in church at all. And I'm grateful that guys like you communicated in the vehicle of the day so that a lot of young people did not just say, well, there's nothing here for me. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. God bless you for giving a musical connection to people. I want to talk about the single. You got a brand new one out called Love One Another. That seems kind of timely yeah. for these days. Yeah. <laughs> talk about uh, the message of that, of that song, Love One Another. I grew up in a family with a lot of love. Nine kids, pastor mm. for a dad, a cab driver for a dad and a pastor. Great mom. And dad said, uh, the beauty of the human race is found in the diversity of the human race. We are God's bouquet. And uh, colors don't hate, it turns out, Governor. Yeah. People do. That's a great, you know? great quote. And so, may I quote you on you that? Quote, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm going to tell everybody it was my quote, yeah, but I'll yeah, say, yeah. yeah. But uh, he, he penned the song, and, and he, one day we were on a, on a radio tour. He goes, Tate, check this song out. They call me Tate, my last name. And I said, okay, check it out. And I like, he goes, I'm not sure, but I go, Pete, I love this song. And then what happened after that? Well, we ended, up, yeah, we ended up recording this song, but I think for us, uh, especially at this time in America and the world, it's very divided. Mm. And that was yes. another thing that really gave us uh, the inspiration of, doing, of coming back together and joining, because here you have, although I picked Mike to be the new lead singer because he looks like me, and uh, <laughs> yeah, you we know, are really different. Yeah, I, had to, actually, I had to get a cue card really to make people. sure I knew which <laughs> who was who here. But, you know, all of us in the band, we're from different <laughs> countries, uh, yeah. different ideas and, you yeah. know, like anybody, but we, yet we find the common good with each other and, yes. and, and focus on that. And we really love each other, uh, even though we're completely different. So we're a testament to that. You guys are on tour, the Greatness of God tour. Uh, Mandisa is a yes, part of that, who is it's yeah. just fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, how many cities are you going to hit in this tour? Duck and we got. Yeah, we're at about 40, I think, um, yeah. in the spring. All through the spring, we've got about 40 dates. And then we'll continue on during the summer. We've got a bunch of festivals that we do during the summer. and. And you know, Newsboys will be doing a bunch of dates in the fall, so. You know, I want to say to all of you, I, I think one of the appeals of Newsboys, the energy that you bring to the music, when, when I watch you guys, you're still having a good time. Yeah. You know, it's not like you're just out there and okay, we got to do another show, here we go. <laughs> you guys are still giving it all you got and that energy is electric yeah. and it is communicating and connecting to the audience. There's no doubt in my mind, but that's one of the ways that I think God is using you yeah. to say to people, there's joy yeah. in this yeah. world. Of that's ours. right. That's right. 
If yeah. you think about the Stones can still do it, what, what, what is Mick Jagger? 70 something? Yeah. He's 97 years Eight old. Yeah. He's, uh, and Keith died 40 years ago, oh, but he doesn't know I, it yet. Know but no, he's still out there. They're rocking the house. It's yeah. amazing. But so I, we're just I, babies. We're just getting started. I cannot tell you how grateful we are to have you here. You, this is you, a big you. honor for us. But, you know, we didn't bring you here just to talk. Brought you here to make some music. So we're going to do that, aren't we? All right, for more information about the Greatness of Our God tour, go to newsboys.com. You can listen to Newsboys United latest music at Apple Music and Spotify. And then after the show, go to Huckabee.tv. We have an exclusive music performance of Greatness of Our God. And I'm going to tell you, you are going to love it. Well, right after the break, Newsboys United are going to return to perform their latest hit, Love One Another. So you better stay tuned.